Hi, it's Ian, and welcome back to my 30 days of Taiko skills. Today is day 13, and I'm talking about atarigane. So atarigane is a handheld gong, sometimes called chanchiki. There might be other uh, names for them depending on the region, but it's a metallic instrument that provides uh, brightness and accent and another color in the ensemble. Um, to me, the highest expression of atarigane I've heard in uh, Japanese music is in Edobayashi, and I can still continue to study um, over the years. Uh, I've done a lot of studying of every part of the ensemble, and even the atarigane part still continues to fascinate me. Uh, it's very advanced, and I think there's a lot there to study. Also, I think the, the technique of Edobayashi Atarigane playing is very versatile and it can be applied to many, many other kinds of music. And I've done that too over the years. So that's something to investigate uh, if you're interested in learning more about the Atarigane. But today, it's more about the instrument. Um, here, I have uh, three different Atarigane that I have, and they all sound a little bit different. There's two different sizes. Uh, this is the size 5, and this larger one is size 5.5. Um, the main thing to understand about the kane, in my opinion, is uh, we, we're not... The main consideration shouldn't be how big your hand is or, uh, or any other things like that. It should be about what is the right sound that we want for that piece. So uh, the biggest consideration, of course, is going to be the size. They can get much smaller than the number five. A little bit, uh, they can get much bigger than a 5.5 as well, but I think uh, once you get a little bit, even a little bit bigger than this, it gets a little bit unwieldy to hold in your hand. So uh, depending on the style, you might have it mounted on a stand or just put it down on a table, and uh, that would work fine. But in terms of just holding it in your hand and playing it um, with, with the beater just like this, too much bigger than a 5.5 might be difficult, but I have seen uh, during workshops, people always ask me about how does this, what kind of kind of should I have for my small hand or my large hand? It really, to me, that's not really uh, important whatsoever. It's about what size works for the music. And you will, so with some practice, you'll figure out how to hold it and play the right size. Uh, if, if you have a big hand and you need a small size and vice versa, it should be uh, it'll be no problem. So after size, and I think number five is probably the biggest, uh, most common size, probably the most versatile. 5.5 might be a little bit big for some uses. Uh, 4.5 um, might be all right too, but I think five would be a great starting point um, to, to, to get if you don't have a kane and you just want a um, kind of versatile generic size. After size is going to be the pitch, and the pitch is determined by the thickness of this, this center part. So the thinner the center part, the lower the pitch is going to be and, and longer it will ring. Uh, the thicker it is, the higher pitched and less ring length there will be. So it kind of depends on personal preference and whatever the music calls for. Um, I tend to like a bigger contrast between the low center. Uh, we say chan for this. And the higher pitched side rim hit, uh, we say chi for this. So um, having a nice contrast between the high rim sound and the low center sound is what I like. So that's the kind that I look for, meaning that the center will be on the thin side. Um, however, maybe some people want less contrast. Maybe some people want more durability, depending on how you hit it. Maybe you don't want it to be uh, get beat up or break so quickly uh, depending on what kind of stick or mallet you're hitting it with. So uh, for me, I'm always using the this, it's called shumoku, but it's uh, basically the typical beater with deer antler, bamboo handle, and I have a little decorative uh, string on this. I should mention real quick that, that uh, I have a blog post all about atarigane knots and string in general. It's one of those things that um, I tried to research years ago and couldn't find anything. And through experimentation and kind of 
uh, talking with my teacher, Kyosuke Suzuki Sensei, about how his ensemble, uh, Wakayama Shachu, what kind of uh, atarigana decorative knots they have. And、um, just through talking with him and taking pictures and researching different kinds of knots, I just came up with a few different ways. But there's no any set way,、um, there's no set color or anything. You can just see here that there's a, you know, a few different, different、uh, ideas of, of、uh, knots and, and kind of tassels and things like that. And the same with the shimoku. Usually the shimoku doesn't come with a hole even. Uh, so, I just drilled a hole here and, and made my own decorative knot. You might be wondering by now what this is.、Uh, it just so happens that this Love Betsy brand, I don't know what this is, some kind of a purse, just so happens it was the perfect, absolutely perfect size and shape for the number five Atarigane.、Um, one day I was just walking through Ross and it caught my eye as this round shape that looked just like Atarigane. Picked up a couple. They were extremely cheap. And、um, yeah, it, it turned out to be perfect. It's a perfect size. And、um, they do get a laugh when I pull them out for a gig. And, and、uh, they wonder what's going to come out of there. But,、uh, but anyway, you never know what you're going to find. So、uh, sometimes it's,、uh, you just luck out with something like that. It's kind of funny.、Uh, it just so happens that it's, it's a, a silly looking thing, too. But I guess something like this,、uh, I don't use them for chapa, but it would probably be perfect for chapa as well, depending on the size you have. 5.5 doesn't fit these, but I haven't found, I haven't found、uh, the same kind for this larger kane. But、uh, anyway, check out my blog post about, all about the atarigane rope or string and knots, and、uh, you can make your own. Of course, it's not necessary. A lot of times, it's just mainly for decorative use. Although it can be useful if you want to hold it by the string and play it like that, it can be quite useful. But、uh, a lot of people, they might just put it on a table and play it. This is a common way to play with some kind of sticks on a table like this. Or the other way, something like that.、Um, I usually don't tend to play like that. Usually I'm holding it either in my hand this way, atarigane,、um, edobayashi style, atarigane style, or holding it by the string and be playing it like this way. That's the two ways that I generally play. So you can tell just by the pitches that, of course, the smaller one is higher, but these are the exact same size. They look pretty much identical. but We already know that the lower pitched one is going to be thinner. And the reason it's thinner is because it's a certain, certain line、uh, called Betsubiki. I got all these kane at、uh, Miyamoto Unosuke Shoten in Asakusa a number of years ago. And the Betsubiki has a thinned down center. So that's why it's lower.、Uh, this one is not a Betsubiki, it's a standard. And I think there's other grades where there's even thicker centers.、Um, I've seen at least three or four different kinds、um, of one size. So that's something to, to look into. I'm sure there's different manufacturers of atarigane.、Um, so, you know, to me, it's really hard to understand what it's going to sound like until you pick it up, play it a little bit to see does this go- is this going to work for me、um, or do I need something else? That's, that's the main question. So, if you're lucky enough to go to a store that has a big,、uh, wide range of types, that's the best. Ideal situation.、Um, sometimes I'm asked if I ever polish these. And for me, the answer is never polish, polish anything like this because I like the, the patina that it forms. I like how it looks, but more importantly, I like how the sound starts to mellow over age and use. And I think the repeated hitting will break it in and make it sound better and better. And this kind of material that comes off. Just from the oils of your hand, gradually it gets greener and duller. I think,、um, I think that helps the sound improve over time. So, so、um, that's all personal preference, of course. You could take some kind of brass polish or something like that and really clean it up so that it looks very bright. And if that's the aesthetic you're looking for,、um, that's totally you know,、uh, valid as well. So,、um, 
I think atarigane is a probably an under, underrated instrument in terms of all the things that you can do with it, the, the areas that it can enhance your music, the places that you can apply the atarigane. Um, some people might be hesitant to play because you can hear it. Even a soft hit. It just carries right through. No matter what else is happening, you can just hear that. So、uh, you might feel like you don't want to stick out that much if you're not comfortable or confident on the instrument. But、uh, I think if you can get over that, practice it and start playing even simple rhythms and, and kind of get into the habit of playing the atarigane. It's a, it's a wonderful instrument that can add so much to the ensemble sound and pieces.、Um, Of course, contrasting atarigane, the other very well used metallic instrument in a taiko ensemble is the chappa, the two sim- small symbols. And they both have their atarigane and chappa, they both have their、uh, pros and cons and, and when they're appropriate or less appropriate. But I think maybe some people think the chappa is more flashy and kind of simpler and they can、um, use more movement around the stage as they play. Versus the atarigane, atarigane might feel a little bit more like they're kind of in one place and playing the music.、Um, so maybe there's some truth to that, but perhaps we can expand our ideas of these instruments and experiment with the pieces that we're playing, maybe investigate some traditional uses of these instruments and see how that knowledge can help us be more musical with these metallic instruments. I think.、Uh, Right along with the fue, the bamboo flute, I feel like there could be a lot more usage in taiko repertoire of these kinds of instruments.、Um, so, anyway, it's a little bit about atarigane. If you have any questions about it, please let me know and I'll be happy to answer any questions. But anyway, I'll see you on the next one.